Good morning. For these fall trees, you'll either need crayons in red, orange, yellow, maybe pink and brown, or oil pastels in those same colors. It doesn't matter, choose what you have. You'll also either need markers in blue or watercolor. Either will work just fine. We're drawing these trees from a worm's eye view, which means we're looking at them like we're close to the ground, looking up at something that's much, much taller than us. To start with your brown crayon or oil pastel, draw five or six dots near the middle of your paper. Then, starting at the point, draw out towards the end of the paper like you're drawing a really narrow triangle. You're gonna do this all the way around, moving towards the edge of your paper. Now, I'm going to add some branches. Branches that are closer to the edge of my paper, like that first one I just drew, I'm drawing thicker than the ones at the top or where that point was. The point is the farthest point from us. It's way up at the top of that tree, and we don't see the branches as clearly. So see how this one that I'm drawing is much bigger? It's closer to me than the one I'm drawing at the top. Go all around and add different size branches to your trees. Don't forget to pause if you need to. This middle area is farthest from us. So I'm gonna begin drawing just tiny little dots with my red, orange, and yellow crayon or oil pastels. That's because the trees are so far away from me, the tops of the trees and these leaves, that I don't really see the shape of the leaf very well. I'm just gonna try to get the color of those leaves. Once I've got the canopy or the very top of the trees, I'm gonna start going in with those same colors and drawing leaves a little bit bigger towards the edge of my paper, right? This is where I can start to see the leaves a little bit better because they're closer to me. I wanna blend the sizes so that some are bigger and some are smaller. I want it to look gradual. Do your best and really fill it with color. You should really be getting a feel for what worms see when they look up at tall trees. This is even kind of what people see now that I think about it. The last step is to fill in your background. Two ways I think you can do this. One, if you have watercolors, 
wet your blue paint and begin filling it in the entire thing. You can go over the crayon and the oil pastel. The other way you could do this is with a blue marker. I would suggest going along the outside of the paper towards the edges in between the trees and then using water, begin pulling the color into the middle. I think that will actually look really amazing because then you would have a darker border and it would get lighter as you move into the trees. However you do it, be sure to fill in your background and wait for it to dry. There you have a worm's eye view of some fall trees.